and welcome to the Northeast Regional Library Storytime. My name is Erica Will, and today I will be reading Amy Wu and the Ribbon Dance by Kat Zhang, illustrated by Charlene Chua, read with permission of Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. Amy Wu is always on the move. During story time, she wriggles on the carpet. During dinner, she rap tap taps chopsticks against her bowl. Stay still, mom says as Amy brushes her teeth or takes a bath or gets ready for bed. But Amy cannot stay still. She has to run, jump, skip, twirl. And today, Amy realizes one more thing she must do. Dance. The women are fairies or butterflies or nymphs. Their ribbons flutter and twist like they have minds of their own. Boom, boom, go the drums. Clack, clack, go the bamboo clappers. The music zips through Amy's body. Her toes tap, her shoulders shimmy. This is dancing like she's never seen before, and it is magic. Amy's mom smiles. Your friends are coming over this afternoon. Do you want to have a dance party? A ribbon dance party, shouts Amy. Together, they call her classmates. Willa will bring her recorder. Sam will bring his drums, and Lynn We'll bring some bamboo clappers. But Amy is missing the most important thing, dancing ribbons. How can she make a dancing ribbon? Amy ties her hair ribbon to a chopstick with a big, strong knot. It's not exactly like the dancer's ribbons, but will it be close enough? It's fun to shake the ribbon around, but it isn't the same. Her hair ribbon is too small and light. It flicks and snaps, but it doesn't flutter or twist. Amy tries again. She ties her scarf to a knitting needle with a big, strong knot. It's not exactly like the dancer's ribbons, but will it be close enough? It's fun to shake the, sharf, the scarf around but it isn't the same. Her scarf is too thick and heavy. It wobbles and flops, but it doesn't flutter or twist. Amy studies her family's beautiful lace tablecloth. Hmm. Oh, Amy, laughs Mom. Mom dances with the tablecloth but Amy doesn't join her. She is too glum to skip. She is too sad to twirl. A hair ribbon is not a dancing ribbon. A scarf is not a dancing ribbon. And a tablecloth is definitely not a dancing ribbon. How will Amy and her friends dance without dancing ribbons? Soon, Willa knocks at the door with her brand new recorder. Then Sam arrives with his big, shiny drum. Lynn and his sister come last, each with a bamboo clapper. They're all ready for the ribbon dance party. But Amy is not. What's wrong? Asks Amy's dad. I think I know, says Amy's mom. She waves Amy into her bedroom and takes a photo album from the shelf. Did you know I used to ribbon dance? Amy imagines her mom with fluttering, twisting ribbons. Her shoulders slump lower. Then mom cracks open the album and Amy's eyes grow wide. There is her mom, surrounded by friends, dancing. None of them has a dancing ribbon. A melody drifts into the bedroom. It sounds like lute music. 
It sounds like drums and bamboo clappers. Boom, boom, clack, clack. Amy follows the tune into the hall. There in the living room are Amy's friends. Wear your dancing ribbons, asks Willa. Come join the fun. Amy hesitates. A hair ribbon is not a dancing ribbon. A scarf is not a dancing ribbon. And a tablecloth is definitely not a dancing ribbon. But the music zips through her body. Her toes tap, her shoulders shimmy. Her mom winks at her. Amy smiles back. Maybe the most important thing isn't dancing ribbons. Maybe the most important thing is just to dance. Amy hands mom her hair ribbon. She gives dad her scarf. Grandma and Lynn's little sister share the tablecloth. Together, they skip around the coffee table and leap atop the couch. They run and jump and skip and twirl. Amy dances with her friends and her parents and her grandma, too. They are fairies or butterflies or nymphs. And it is magic. The end. Thank you for joining us for story time. Keep checking back for more adventures.